in help branch. So first of all, you need to have some kind of directory uh, where you can store your documents or files. So you click on click here on, on add directory here, and you provide your name. Uh, it can be I don't know Dex, let's say because it it, it will be directory for storing pitch Dex. Uh, here for your new directory, you can choose what will be the default settings for your permissions. It, you can set like if you want to allow download and printing of your documents, you can set if you want to enable watermark for your documents. Let's say that I will check this one. You can set, set if you want only one user viewing your documents at the same time. Let's say I will not check this one and I will set, uh, set default screenshot mask for documents. Okay, so let's say I just want to enable watermarking for my documents. I click add directory. And I go inside this, this directory and I upload my file. It will be my pitch deck. Okay, it's here. Uh, as you can see, the default setting from my directory was uh, set here for this uh, default link for this document. But I can still granularly set any permissions I want. But these are permissions for default link for this document. I don't have virtual data room for now, but I can use links like for this document or I can use this link. I can copy pub public data room link for this directory so I can share access to all documents inside this directory. But if I want to create my first data room, I click here private data rooms or I click data rooms here. And here I, I can, can create my first data room. And to do that, I need to click on add guest room and provide email for uh, for my first first uh, for my first customer, which can access my virtual data room. Let's say this will be someone from Replay Inbox uh, company. I can set enable single se section access only, so that this customer will be able to access this virtual data room only from one device. I can require NDA before anyone, before this customer can see any document inside this virtual data room. If I will check this one, I need to also provide NDA e-signature, which I can can create inside help branch here, as signatures, e-signatures. But I will not use this this option for now. And I can use also option for screenshot protection here and so that people will need to install Android, iPhone or iPad application to access my virtual data room so that I prevent people from taking screenshots. Let's say I don't check this one for now and I click add, okay? Okay, so I have my guest data room here and I click here and I need to assign document, my first document inside this uh, virtual data room. I choose directory, let's say, yeah, I use DEX. So I this is the data directory I just created and I choose document in, from inside this directory and I click assign to guest. Yeah, so in this, in this moment, uh, I assigned an uh, assigned document for this guest inside this virtual data room. I can edit permissions for this document. Uh, by default, 
the settings are set as a default settings uh, taken from a directory of this document. But I, can, by I, but I can granularly set any permissions I want for any document inside virtual data room. And uh, yeah, and in this in this moment, Halprench sent an email message to hello replayinbox.com with a link to this virtual data room. And after clicking the link, customer will be able to sign in inside virtual data room uh, by by providing one-time password sent to, to his email address. And after that, he will be able to access documents inside this virtual data room. Uh, yeah, and after that, you can click here on recordings and you will see all uh, all data related to uh, how people use, how people uh, view your documents. So it will be here. Uh, IP addresses, uh, time spent uh, on your documents and stuff like that. Mm, yeah, so basically this is how you create your first guest data room, but you can also go back to data rooms here and you can create group room. And in case of group room, you can just put some name here and you can add your first group room. Group room is basically a place where you can assign many guests to this group and uh, you can share as many documents for as many guests as you want. You can also assign whole directories uh, for this group. Yeah, so basically this is how you create your virtual data rooms inside HelpRange platform.